Las Vegas shooting, gunman's girlfriend says she knew nothing of plans. Las Vegas shooting, gunman's girlfriend says she knew nothing of plans. Air Force One departing Las Vegas on Wednesday, with the Mandalay Resort and Casino in the foreground. The windows that Stephen Paddock broke before firing on concertgoers can be seen. Credit Mike Blake, Reuters. In her first public statement since the Las Vegas massacre, the gunman's girlfriend said on Wednesday that he had sent her on a trip to the Philippines and wired her money there, but that she did not know he had been planning to harm anyone. The statement from the woman, Meryl Danley, which was read by her lawyer, Matthew Lombard, came after Miss. Danley went to the Los Angeles offices of the FBI. For questioning, according to a law enforcement official. It was released as the authorities sought her insight into what prompted a man with no evident criminal history to become a mass murderer. She stressed that she returned to the United States voluntarily, because I know that the FBI and the Las Vegas Police Department wanted to talk to me, and I wanted to talk to them. Investigators on Wednesday confirmed that the gunman, Stephen Paddock, had left a note inside his suite at the Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino. It was not a suicide note. I'm comfortable saying that, said Sheriff Joseph Lombardo. It never occurred to me in any way whatsoever that he was planning violence against anyone. Miss. Danley said in her statement on Wednesday. Of the 489 people injured in the shooting, 317 have been discharged from hospitals and about 50 are in critical condition. The death toll remained at 58 victims as of Wednesday night. Top congressional Republicans, who for decades have resisted any legislative limits on guns, signaled on Wednesday that they would be open to banning bump stocks, the firearm accessory Mr. Paddock used to transform his rifles to mimic automatic weapon fire. Gunman's girlfriend said she was unaware of the plan. Stanley said she never believed her kind, caring, quiet boyfriend was capable of killing 58 people and wounding hundreds more. He never said anything to me or took any action that I was aware of, that I understood in any way to be a warning that something horrible like this was going to happen, she said. The statement came on the same day that a law enforcement official said she had been questioned by FBI. Agents trying to determine the motive for the deadly shooting. The president met with victims of the attack. President Trump spent four hours in Las Vegas on Wednesday during which he paid tribute to the professionalism of the doctors who treated the shooting victims. He said that meeting with the patients at one hospital made him proud to be an American. The president said he met with some absolutely terribly wounded patients and hailed their bravery during the horrific attack Sunday night. He said many of those he met had been wounded as they sought to help others amid the hail of bullets. Graphic inside the Las Vegas gunman's hotel suite his suite held more than 20 guns and hundreds of rounds of ammunition. The gunman had a deadly stockpile.
Mr. Paddock purchased 33 weapons in the past year, law enforcement officials said. Twelve of the rifles Mr. Paddock had in his luxury suite on the 32nd floor of the Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino were outfitted with bump stocks, devices that enable a rifle to be fired like a machine gun, with hundreds of rounds per minute, which may explain how he was able to rain such devastation on the crowd below, law enforcement officials said. Interactive graphic What is a bump stock and how was it used in the Las Vegas shooting? Twelve of the rifles the gunman had in his hotel room were outfitted with a bump stock, an attachment that enables a semi-automatic rifle to fire faster. Open interactive graphics such devices are generally legal, and the possibility that he may have used them set off a fresh round of calls by Democratic lawmakers in Washington to pass more gun regulations after the massacre. Russell Goldman reported from Hong Kong. We're interested in your feedback on this page. Tell us what you think. In her first public statement since the Las Vegas massacre, the gunman's girlfriend said on Wednesday that he had sent her on a trip to the Philippines and wired her money there, but that she did not know he had been planning to harm anyone. The statement from the woman, Meryl Danley, which was read by her lawyer, Matthew Lombard, came after Miss. Danny went to the Los Angeles offices of the FBI. For questioning, according to a law enforcement official. It was released as the authorities sought her insight into what prompted a man with no evident criminal history to become a mass murderer. She stressed that she returned to the United States voluntarily, because I know that the FBI and the Las Vegas Police Department wanted to talk to me, and I wanted to talk to them. Investigators on Wednesday confirmed that the gunman, Stephen Paddock, had left a note inside his suite at the Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino. It was not a suicide note. I'm comfortable saying that, said Sheriff Joseph Lombardo. It never occurred to me in any way whatsoever that he was planning violence against anyone, Miss. Danley said in her statement on Wednesday. Of the 489 people injured in the shooting, 317 have been discharged from hospitals and about 50 are in critical condition. The death toll remained at 58 victims as of Wednesday night. Top congressional Republicans, who for decades have resisted any legislative limits on guns, signaled on Wednesday that they would be open to banning bump stocks. The firearm accessory Mr. Paddock used to transform his rifles to mimic automatic weapon fire. Continue reading the main story.